Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a higher washing machine and I'm having trouble getting it to fill with water. It takes some water, but not enough. I've made a video or two previously about this and different attempts I've done, and I'll recap on that quickly. The issue is, you turn it on, water comes in, it goes into the drum, turns it, it's not wet enough. Sometimes the clothes come out musty, sometimes I don't think the rinsing is rinsing them properly and there's still bubbles clearly visible when you're rinsing it. So it's not rinsing it properly. Really needs more water. Less soap, I've tried less soap, but that doesn't seem to have much of an effect. You can use very little soap and there's still bubbles. It's a very soft water area, we've gotten down to very little soap. It's still, still doing it. What have I tried? I have tried, so far, cleaning the filter on the back of the inlet. That's in a previous video. It was a tiny bit of dust, but nothing much to make you worry about it. So I've been told since to check that there's a flow restrictor in there, maybe pull that out, I'll give that a go. It's not on mains pressure, it's tank fed from the ceiling, gravity fed, or from the loft even, rather than the ceiling, pipe does come through the ceiling. That should have adequate pressure, and the pressure switch should turn off when there's enough water in it. It's not, it's not exceeding on time, because if it exceeds on time, it should show, throw an error code. So that's what we're up to with that. Other comments were on the pressure switch, that it's broken. Well, it does work because you can see it clicking on and off and the water coming in in batches when it's starting off. Over here, there's on the back of the pressure switch, there's a hose. I've taken that off, blown down it, and it's clear. I've come in from below on the machine and checked it from below, taken the hose off the bottom where there's the black little black hose goes into a plastic tube into the rubber hose down at the sump, near the sump pump. It's spotless. There's no gunk or and there's nothing in there at all. There's no gunk at all in that. And I've blown through it again and it just blows through as if there's nothing in the pipe. So I don't think that's the issue. I've been told that you can adjust this pressure switch. I'm not keen to do that, but I'll show you it. So the switch is completely plastic. Might be something metal in it, but I don't know. On top here, there's a hexagon key with red paint on it. I was told Twist that in, quarter turn, check it. Maybe it'll fill a bit more. Dubious about touching that, because if I break the machine, I'm out of luck. I've also fully dismantled the soap drawer, washed that out. I think that should have been in the previous video as well. So today I'm gonna to take off the inlet valve solenoid and have a look at the back of it, where the filter is, just to see if behind that filter is a restrictor and pull it out if there is one. I can't see that that'll help it fill anymore. It'll help it fill faster, that's for sure. Let's crack on with that. So if access from the rear was easier, I would do this without taking out the valve, but it's not. So flick it out and in here is a little sieve. So I'll take this out. You just kind of twist and pull. I've had it out already. It's pretty clean. But in behind that is what's apparently called a flow restrictor. I'm gonna have to get a little tissue on that. So in here then is a little black thing. Let's have a look at how that pops out or what. So with a needle nose pliers, maybe I can grip it and twist it or pull it. Entirely sure what I'm dealing with here. And I always also I also don't want to break it, you know? Popping it out sideways. Pretty ignorant way of doing it. So how does this work? So this is just a little rubber washer on a plastic fellow. I'm gonna take all of that out, because I can't really see the benefit of that. It's nothing to do with anything other than flow restriction and at this point I don't need that here. Let's put the filter back in because I think that's important. And we'll start it up again. So we're back together again. I was dealing with the issue by adding extra water here but it kind of takes the edge off an automatic washing machine when you have to be present. I tend to do a nappy wash which is what's in it now. Synthetic, zero and a low speed and this is like a rinse cycle for these, but it'll show us now how much water is going in. And it'll show us if there's a better jet of water over here. Takes in a little bit over here first, a little bit on this side. This is uh, gravity fed from a tank in the loft and it's on a three quarter inch pipe down as far as the, I don't know, until it branches off into a half inch pipe, which should be adequate. I would say without the flow restrictor, that's a bit better than before, but it's not like having a shower, really. It's better, I'd say, but it's not, it's not necessarily gonna solve the problem of the water level, which is what I'm interested in. The water level seems to depend more on the pressure switch. 
So just in the interim there, when I was screwing everything back together, I put an Allen key in here, because that's the fitting. And it is turnable, so I can try that. It does sound a bit more aggressive or a bit more flowy than before, but that's not exactly an objective test in this case. So let's see how it's coming up here. Nothing visible yet. It starts to turn. There is water there. It should let in more water again. That's what it has been doing. Now there's a bit more water coming in. Let's see how high up it gets. It is taking on more water. It's always had enough water to rinse the soap down out of the drawer, so it's not that's not been an issue. There's a bit more water coming in there now again. So it doesn't look like there's much more water in there now. Maybe it filled faster, but it's got what it had before, so I suspect it's gone past the point of filling. It's done three or four little clicks, exactly like what it always has done. I've just added some bubbles, so it should wash some bubbles down, and I will keep filling it until we see water up at the door, because I want to rinse these things thoroughly. Because they're nappies. Now I acknowledge that we're unlikely to see water up at the level I'm looking for, even with the adjustments that I could make to the machine. And so I'm happy enough to have that faucet up there. There's bubbles, there's water levels rising now. As energy efficiency aside, I reckon you should have the laundry pounding around in water. And so I like to see it making a V up the door, just like that, and I'll add a bit more. And then on the next wash, I'm going to try and adjust that pressure valve, I think. I'm all in now. That's enough for me. Right. Questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can become a member of the channel. It uh, starts at just a pound a month. You get access to videos before everybody else. Uh, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. I like it. Also appreciate. Thanks for watching. See you later.